Hey, this is Carter out here at Terry Hendricks Chrysler in Archibald, Ohio. We're gonna go over this uh, Ram Rebel 1500 here, uh, go over the ins and the outs of it. Uh, looking on the exterior, I'm looking for any dings, dents, scratches, discoloration, anything out of the ordinary. Interior, I'm looking for uh, rips, tears, punctures, stains, anything like that. We definitely wanna make sure you're aware of that. Um, gonna start here at the front. I like to start at the hood seam. Now it's pretty dusty because we're out here in rural Ohio, so you can see there's there's dust on the vehicle. Um, but it also has, and I love to see this, you can see this rigid line here. That is a <coughs> protective film that goes over the front hood seam and the side fenders here. Now one downside is sometimes you'll get a little bit of this cloudiness, this discoloration like here, just because it is plastic. Um, personally, I would rather have that than any damage to my paint, any damage to the actual uh, quarter panel. Um, so you might get a little bit of cloudiness on that plastic film. This actually carries down on this truck, down here. So this whole piece, now this top piece here is not, but you can see that line right there. So everything between here and here has this plastic film on it. It's really good protectant. Uh, personally, I think it's worth the investment, especially if you're buying a newer vehicle. Um, it's already on this one, so you're good there. But it goes all the way around the hood seam here. I do like to still feel just to make sure there's no stone chips causing that clear coat to peel up. A um, little bit of uh, stone chip, minor, minor one that I barely even noticed, but it is there. Uh, the paint is, looks to be intact and everything, so I'm not a concern. Again, that film piece here looks good. Headlights are great and clear. Um, that's just a bug. We're good. Hood looks great. No damage across it. Now this truck does have the Rebel uh, stick matte black sticker on it, which is just sweet. Stepping back, we're gonna go down the driver's side here. You can really this paint is really shiny. A couple light black uh, scratches. It's black, so you'll get those. You can kind of see it right there. Super super minor. Um, you're gonna have those on a black vehicle. It's that's inevitable. Driver front wheel. This is just water spots from the rain we got yesterday. There is a little bit of here. I don't even know, I don't know if you can see this super well. But right between my fingers here, there's a very, very light scratch, about as wide as my finger. Now, if you step back, you can kind of see it, but it's right can't even get my phone to focus on it right there very very minor though this is a 22 so 25s are out you're talking this being two three years old it's definitely uh average wear and tear for sure the scratch here and there now there is i do see here on this body line you can kind of see how the light catches it there's a little ding here now we do have a dent guy who uh quite possibly might be able to pull that dent out so I can mention it to him. Now this door here does have the plastic seam protector here. You can see this line going vertically right here. Um, yeah, right there. That's plastic on the door seams. A lot of times you see those get chewed up. That front one has it as well. Rebel decal and that black matte sticker on the back. Looks great. A couple light scratches down here. Just from, you know, driving down the road, you'll probably pick up something there, like a rock or something. No major scratches or anything noteworthy on this back piece here. This is the rear driver wheel. Spray and bed liner. Now on the tailgates, I like to put my palm and run my palm across this top piece here. The reason is things like this. There is a stone chip here. I don't know how it's a stone. It looks like a stone chip, obviously. I don't know if it is or it's rock chip, but you put some touch up paint on that, you'll be pretty good. Um, you probably wouldn't even notice it. There's a very, very little like door ding size right there. That's about it. Looking over the rest of the back, a couple light scratches. Tailgates are where you see a lot of those really light scratches just from uh, 
back pressure pulling stuff up off the road. Like I said last night on the phone, I am human, so I might miss something. There's a light scratch on the sticker, but not on the paint, it doesn't look like. A couple light scratches down here. But yeah, I am human, so I might miss something. Um, if I do, it's typically pretty, pretty minor. But uh, hopefully the video helps you out in knowing the quality of the vehicle and condition inside and out. I also like to look on these, because sometimes you'll have stuff that slides from the bed and it hits in there. open this up real quick now we do offer a ceramic coating now I know you said you work at a dealership so I'm sure you're familiar with that um, one that the one we use uh, actually covers interiors as well so I mention it a lot when I have these leather interiors um, it's 795 and you get a seven-year warranty covers the clear coat of the paint covers the interior it covers your wheels from pitting Oh, sunroof up there. Um, all your black trim pieces like this here, the bedside rails, anything like that that gets sun bleached, um, it actually pays to get those replaced. Uh, if you get a six inch rip in your seats or uh, something in your dash, you know, cracks or anything, it's covered. They'll actually replace it with OEM seats. Um, very, very light scratch here. In here. Uh, just a couple of those but uh yeah it's a it's a really good product it comes with that seven year warranty with nationwide coverage it's not just through us so if you're uh, out west or you're you know up in michigan you can take it to your local dealer and you get the warranty work done just something to consider you can definitely tell whoever had this truck took care of it definitely wanted it to uh be in great condition that's why you see these plastic films all over the truck gonna open this side here and then we'll go over the front interior real quick but yeah this is definitely clean um i don't get a smoky smell when i open it it does smell like it's been chlorine bombed which sometimes you know vehicles just have a smell in them um by chlorine bomb there's a, a chlorine chemical we put in vehicles a lot of dealerships do when there's an odor it just neutralizes that odor so it just kind of smells like chlorine for a couple weeks and then eventually the owner whoever buys the vehicle scent you know takes the place of that um yeah i don't smell smoke and i like to get a second or third opinion on that too so i'll have a, another salesman come out uh stick his head in there just make sure that you know there's no smoke odor because uh, it is starting to get allergy season but yeah i don't smell any smoke i would have no uh no problem sitting in the truck or putting my kids in the truck uh, I'm thinking they're going to smell like smoke, or I am. One seven two seven one on the miles, seventeen thousand two seventy one. Obviously, no uh, lights on the dash. Love this red accents all over. I'm going to turn this radio on here. go ahead and put it in reverse backup camera and the top down 360 view cameras you do have blind spot in the corners of the mirror you got remote start on the key fob big compartment here top box bottom box hopefully this video helps you out a little bit um, if you got any questions, let me know. I'm here and happy to help. My number is 567-301-6953. Look forward to hearing from you.